we are with Philip uh, Pelvo, and I've said that correctly, haven't I? Yeah. Okay. Uh, tell me um, a little bit about uh, your summer, your fantastic summer, Philip. It was uh, definitely a great experience to get my ranking up like that, to play the kind of players I did and win against them, and especially in the Masters 1000 in Canada, playing Neiman and, and uh, saving match point and taking the match. Obviously, he retired, but uh, it was a tough match until the point that he did, and uh, it was great great for me, great for my ranking, and as an experience and for learning, it was really good. So uh, definitely tried to take what I could from that. And uh, now, uh, Tell me what it was like to win a match yeah. on the Stade Pino Prix there at Cherry Park, having lived in Montreal yourself for three years now. Yeah, it was really, really uh, unbelievable for me. I, I did not expect to even get a main draw wild card, first of all, so uh, yeah. the fact that I got one in the end, last minute, expecting to play qualies and and uh, in front of a crowd of people cheering for me was it was, it was great. Uh, I definitely soaked it up and and uh, well, hopefully I have some more experiences like that in the right. future. Yeah, we were just talking a minute ago about how this is a great time for Canadian tennis. Um, you're a part of this team now. Um, do you like uh, you like your country's chance? Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously we did well in the Davis Cup this year, so. Um, I, I think that Canada is really becoming a lot more respected in tennis and, and we've got quite a few good pl players out there like Vasek and, and Milos so um, I think that it's just going to get better from here on. Uh, I don't see why it wouldn't, and and I'm going to do my best to keep it going. So. And speaking of Milos and uh, getting better from here on, uh, tell us about your big coaching change with uh, Coach Blanca. Yeah, um, to, I, I, I'm moving out to Barcelona after champagne i think which is in a couple of weeks so uh for me that's a huge change i've never been to spain first of all in my life and uh to be able to work with gallo there it's it's amazing i mean i've always thought he's an amazing coach and really respected him and i thought even when he gave me some tips whenever i was hitting with milos while he was with him uh he always helped me out really well, and we worked well together. I think the chemistry is going to be good, and very excited about it. Right, and finally, you're playing uh, uh, United States uh, up-and-comer Bjorn Fratangelo tomorrow. Uh, do you all have you all matched up in futures or in? Yeah, um, both times we played, it was on clay, and he beat me both times. Um, I'm hoping to do better against him on hard court. Uh, I, I think I have the advantage on the quick indoor court, so uh, we'll see. It's going to be a tough match, but. I think that I have the means to, to take it, so we'll see what happens. All right, Philip, you're a two-time Grand Slam champion. Uh, where do you see yourself in five years? Uh, five years from now, that's a tough question. Uh, I'm hoping to be top 20, top close to top 10 maybe, uh, or better. You never know, but um, that's what I'm working for. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Philip. Thank you. Take